Hey guys, what's up? It's Minitoff, and today I'm going to show you how to add plugins to your Craft Bucket server. So, if you don't know how to make an actual Craft Bucket server, I did it in my previous tutorial video. I will have a link in the description and maybe an annotation on the screen if I remember. So, go ahead and click one of those, and you'll be followed into making a Minecraft server. So, I just downloaded my my pre-made folder from the description and I added all this stuff and I also upgraded it to version 1579 so that's actually pretty easy to upgrade it you just download the new craftbucket.jar replace it uh, put it in here and then rename it to craftbucket.jar so now I'm gonna show you how to add plugins now please note this video does not actually cover how to use the plugins I can't fit that in this video but just watch all the way to the end and I'll explain how I'm going to go about doing that. So, in my previous video, you have the server set up. Now, I'll have this link in the description. It's plugins.bucket.org. Just ignore this part. And here you'll find you know all the plugins that you can put in your server. Now, there are other ones. You can Google them. So, I'm going to show you um, how to make sure that it's going to work and how to tell if it doesn't and how you can fix it if it doesn't work. So, um, look at the build number that you have for your craftbucket.jar. Now, I know um, because I downloaded it, I have build 15797. So, it, it, it's going to work if it has 1597 on it. It might work if, if it's a different number. So, don't try to get one that's exactly the same. So, we can try, you know, basically any plugin and see if it works. You can test it. This one says, you know 1060 to 1337 so that's obviously not going to work because we are not within that range so don't you don't want to go to one that's like extremely way off now I don't think there are any up right now that are way off see right now I have 1.1 dash r1 that's also the same thing as 1597 I'm just gonna download the top one and I'm gonna show you how to actually install it so if we click on this Okay, so we can just download the full zip, and bam, you, you come up with this. Okay, so let me minimize this. So you should come up with this. Now, the readme may not show up, so just don't even worry about this. It's a readme. You can open this with text edit and find out what it says, but that's not important. You, you're focused on the scuba bucket and the scuba bucket jar. It's not going to be the same name, but... If you're using permissions, it will say permissions and then permissions.jar. Now, not all the time will you have two things. There might not be this folder here, like when you start up the server, and this might generate this. So you want to put these two in the plugins folder. So if we go into server, there's a plugins folder, and it's empty. So we're going to put these two in here. Do not, I repeat, do not just put the whole thing in there. You want the two that are inside of it if there might be one but don't put anything else don't put you know read me don't put anything else don't put versions just put the two uh, things right into the plugins folder so now you should be able to delete this so um, if we go back in and try to start our server let's see if it works Okay, so, whoa, there we go, um, right here, school bucket has enabled, so, it says permission not detected, this basically means it worked, that's basically how you install a plugin, now, some plugins run automatically now, and others need tuning, like, permissions, you can make yourself an admin, and you automatically are default not, so here's how I'm gonna do this. I cannot cover every single plugin made ever. You know, I can't I can't do it. So I'm only gonna do the ones that have been requested. So uh here's what I'm gonna do. In the comments of this video, I want you to tell me the plugin you want me to show you how to use. So if you say, Hey man, I want I want you to do a video on permissions, just tell me that in the comments and I will try to reply saying, Okay, I'll take that into consideration. And I will try to uh, do a video on that particular plugin. I'm not going to just go out of my way and do it because I don't have that much time. I'm sorry. If I had, you know, a lot of time, I would do tons and tons and tons of videos. But so I'm by default, I'm going to do permissions, 
essentials and then I had a request for factions already so I'm gonna do those three already but that's basically how you install it and if if you don't know if the plugin is going to work or not like let me get rid of this if you don't know if it's the right you know thing just try it if you have a request for any any plugins that you want me to do go ahead and request them so um as I get requests I'm going to put them in the description now what do you mean by that so I'm gonna have like a list in the description um, one under the other about which ones I've already been asked so before you ask me please just go check the description and see if there are any in there if, if it's not in there then please ask me but if it's in there don't you know that means I've already you know seen it and I'm going to probably do a video on it if I have time so I'm kinda busy right now so I am hope this helps you out I'm sorry I couldn't fit this all into one video and I'll see you guys later bye